first thing I want to do today is, um, you know, um, man, man, oh, man, oh, man. Cowboys season has ended today, and it's the second time I've done this, a recap of Dallas Cowboys season. Um, as a Cowboys fan, it has been such a disappointment. Kellen Moore was supposed to be this guy that was going to, you know, just reignite, reinvent, and give this offense something new, fresh, and something that the fans can look forward to each and every Sunday. And it mostly was a disappointment. I don't care that we had the first-ranked offense in all the NFL. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't care about that. Yeah, it's a disgusting display when you have an offense that can just, you know, do wonderful drives on one, on one, on one series, and then you know just be completely stagnant for the rest of the game. Um. Technically, our season ended last week against the Eagles, who, with a bunch of injuries, just went ahead, beat us, beat the Giants pretty easily, and are going to the playoffs. They'll be hosting Seattle. So, you know, it's crazy that, you know, we, honestly, this team shouldn't be 8-8. This team shouldn't be 8-8. I... I think I said at the be at the end of last year, and you know, and, and in the beginning of this year, once everything was revealed and stuff like that, that you know, this team would have ten wins and stuff like that, at least ten. But no, low expectations, um, just went out the window, you know just consecutive losses to teams that were just way better than us. And we just need clean house. Now, the rumors right now are saying that everybody's gone as far as the coaching staff, everybody. That's what the rumors are saying. I'm pretty sure that's false. And we don't know about Jason Garrett. We do know his contract is up. It is done. So we do know that now. Uh, at the time of this video, um, I'm probably not going to make another talking about Jason Garrett being fired or not, or rather, wherever he goes. But Jason Garrett, I'll just say it right now that Jason Garrett is more than likely gone as the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, we should have went after Ron Rivera, but Ron Rivera is probably going to the Redskins, and he will do something to reignite the Redskins over there, because, I mean, Ron Rivera is a good coach, you know. He, he did take the Panthers to the Super Bowl um, a couple years back, so, you know, he's a guy that can take a team to the Super Bowl, you know. But what do the Cowboys do? Why is there even speculation regarding Jason Witt as the head coach? He shouldn't have even came. In fact, let's talk about Jason Witt. Jason Witt, I, lo- I like the guy. I, I really do, but I do not think that he should have went out of retirement this year. He should not, you know, maybe he should have stayed in the Monday night move. Maybe not. Who knows? I don't watch Monday night football aside from the one Cowboys game that's on there each and every season. Um, but there was no reason for Jace Witten to be on the field this year. You've you seen him at times this year be a liability, dropping passes, um, it, uh, that's just facts. He's been dropping passes this year. He's just moved, he moves just a little bit too slow for my taste. And it should have been Dalton Schultz and Blake Jarwin as the starters. Should have had more two tight end sets out there. Should have should have used Tavon Austin more. You know, should have had you know, should have had a lot of things. You know. There are a lot of plays where it's like, hey, why isn't Amari Cooper out there? Why isn't he recovering fast enough? Uh, You know, injuries are a part of the game, but, you know, Amari Cooper was basically just injured the entire season from from what I've been, from what we've been, from what we've seen. You know, it's disgusting. It's a disgusting display that the training staff didn't do enough 
to you know get this man back healthy, you know, to keep to get him on track to being healthier. In that case, um, you know, we had Randall Cobb. He was okay. You know, Michael Gallup. He had a thousand yard season. He was he was he was fine when he wasn't dropping catches either. Um, Zeke over a thousand yards once again. You know, um, when he was when he was feasting, you know, oh, everybody was everybody was happy about that. When, when the game was where he had only like 12 carries, 9 carries, 8 carries, 7 carries, you know, it's disgusting. Tony Pollard, he's the guy that I like this year. He, he did well this year for the Cowboys. He needed more touches, to be completely honest with you. Several times, you know, let's just talk about Dak real quick. Um, Dak Prescott had a year to, you know, it would be a year to remember if he actually, you know, had more games that he could have won. You know, it would have been a year to remember if everything went right for him. But it didn't. It did not at all. When he played bad, he played bad. When he played good, he played good. It just is what it is. He's just an average quarterback to me. He He, he just needs to improve at all levels why are we why are we you know like calling some of these plays you know that just do not you know fit Dak why aren't we running with Dak more you should be running about at least five five to nine times a game you know he's not you know you want to get that you want to beat Dallas Cowboys that run that notoriously run the ball they you need to get the running quarterback the guy that ran a spread offense, ran a spread offense in college that could run the damn ball. And it was, it, you know, it, 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 it just is what it is. Um, as far as the defense goes, um, um, it was more the same, you know, good but not good enough. Sean Lee is still a liability to be. Um, Leighton Van Der Esch got injured and just did not come back at all. That neck injury he had was just too much to overcome, and hopefully he'll be fine next year. Jalen Smith did well um, as far as the defensive line goes. Quinn, Lawrence, uh, other guys along the defensive line, they did okay. They didn't get enough pressure on the quarterback. Rod Marinelli, you have to you have to start dialing up some pressure, my guy. You have to you have to start forcing some takeaways. You know, you know Byron Jones, Jeff Heath, Ouzie. You know, y'all gotta y'all gotta start stepping up on, on in the back end. You got you got to start stepping up, and you just didn't. Only seven interceptions this year, as far as I know. Seven, disgusting. And yeah, this defense, you know, they could they could do some things at times. They could be swarming at times, but you know, it wasn't enough. It was not enough at all. Um, and I mean, it 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 just is more the same, you know. Uh, we're gonna, as far as the cowboy fandom goes, I think we're just happy that Jason Garrett's gone. More than likely, ninety nine percent sure. Um, but what about next year? What about next year? The 2020 schedule has been revealed, and I'm going to get that up here real quick for us all. Um, I know one thing. We do not play the Saints or the Packers next year, so that will be good for us. We do play the AFC North as far as you know, teams that we face from the AFC side of things, so we will see Lamar Jackson next year. We will see what the... Browns can do. We will see what the Bengals can do. We will see what the Steelers can do. You know, we will see them next year. NFC West as well. We will see them. Um, and of course, we'll see the Cardinals and the Falcons. Yeah, that should be right. We will see the car. Well, well, actually, we'll see the Falcons and then we'll see the Vikings as well next year. So, you know, that'll be a good. It'll be a good heyday to get into the things next year. Of course, you got the Giants who are rebuilding. They have basically cleaned house aside from Gettleman. 
um, the Redskins, who I already talked about, talking about you know, Ron Rivera and stuff like that. And the Eagles, you don't know what the Eagles are going to bring. You don't know what the rest of the um, league is going to bring yet because 2020 is not here yet. The 2020 season is not here yet. And we won't talk about that anymore, but we do know who to we do know who we're playing next year. Um, hopefully, there will be a lot more 11 a.m. games. I'm tired of all these 425 games with with Joe Buck, with Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. I'm so tired of that. Um, you know, I can understand the five prime time games a year, stuff like that. But I am just sick and tired of seeing Joe Buck and Troy Aikman every Sunday. It's kind of annoying when there's better teams on. It was kind of annoying when there were better teams on playing games. And it just, especially yesterday, why were they even here at the Was- at the Washington game? Don't know why, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah. Cowboys season in a nutshell, a mediocre, disappointing season. And we'll see what the world happens, you know, as far as the draft goes, as far as what we do next as far as what Jason Garrett is going to do, um, I won't be making videos over everything because I have a lot on my plate for 2020 That as far as videos go. So I won't be covering that depth. Um, but if there is like some big signings or something or, you know, whoever we hire as the new head coach will uh, be sure to get something on that. So uh, y'all take care. You know, I am... Just blessed to be here for another year of Dallas Cowboys football. And glad we got the win yesterday. May not have went the way we way we wanted, but, you know, we got the W. And you know, it just is what it is. So y'all take care. We'll see you Cowboy fans maybe in April, maybe, uh, maybe tomorrow or something like that. Who knows when Jerry Jones decides, like, hey, you're the next head coach. Peace.